Hello and welcome to Neutrino Channel. In this episode we look at another Iranian massive underground missile city. One of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, mega-missile cities is located approximately in the center of Iran's mainland near the city of Isfahan, and is named after former IRGC commander Shahid Ahmad e Kazimi. It is certainly among the most strategic missile megacities in Iran, and like the missile base in Shiraz, it is located in a valley several kilometers long, surrounded by hard and high mountains, and hence geographically located in a particularly valuable area. It has excellent passive defenses and is difficult for Iran's enemies to reach. This megacity is actually dug out of the heart of the mountain into two adjacent valleys and has 13 entrances, with some of them hardened and extended, in three wide and long mountain ranges up to 560 meters high. Only some of the entrances are visible in these aerial photos. Even if a conventional bomb hits the valley, the blast wave will not damage the entrances to the facility because they are made of stretched and reinforced concrete. Another example of this technique is the launching pads of missile magazines. However, not all entrances are hardened and extended, and a direct hit on the entrances by stealth cruise missiles such as AGM-158 could possibly be disastrous. But crossing the many Iranian air defense rings and hitting the hard-to-reach entrances with amazing precision required for a successful result is also a challenging military operation. From the appearance of this missile city, it is clear that numerous long-range ballistic missiles such as Sejil, Ahmad, and other solid-fuel tactical missiles such as Kestel Breaker and other Fateh Family missile variants are stationed there, and most likely numerous transporter erector missiles, TLS, are parked in some of the tunnels, ready to deploy. The mountain ranges of this megacity provide space and the ability to station and maintain an absolutely large number of ballistic missiles, and it is quite clear that this megacity has complex structures inside the mountain. This metropolis can easily house several thousand missiles, and therefore, in my opinion, it lacks one or more missile magazines that can fire a large number of long-range missiles in a very short time from a safe point in the center of Iran. However, it is definitely possible to easily develop a missile launch pads in this pristine location. An example of this was created in Shiraz, which was initially a huge storage facility for missiles and TLS and in recent years launch pads for drone launching from inside the mountain were also added. Another example is the Lar missile site in southern Iran, which was originally just a normal missile city with launch silos, and in recent years has been upgraded and expanded to include five launch pads for missile magazine technology. In this valley, some road branches, like veins and capillaries, can be seen from which long-range missiles can be fired from TLS. Outside these two valleys, there are also good places for launching missiles from TLS. Furthermore, outside the tunnels, presence of many buildings and football fields show that at least several hundred IRGC personnel are busy and active in this massive underground volcano. This once again underscores Iran's strategy to increase the capabilities necessary to carry out massive strategic missile attacks. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.